Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! Marco sure is lucky he's got you as a scapegoat. There's plenty of trees around. Why do you need this type of wood? I've been working on a new type of bow. It's more flexible, so it lasts longer and can fire at greater range. Only a very special kind of wood that grows high in the mountains will do. Any idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker, I'm a boyer. They're in the mountains somewhere, that much I know. I'd check close to the lumber camps. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do, and be quick about it. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. Ha! <laughs> if you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be saying that. I have a little wolf problem there. Better take some lumber back as proof. Oh, look, it's Marcus's mighty champion. <laughs> Don't tell me you actually did what I asked. I tracked the bandits and sent them to Addis. Your wood should arrive in town soon. And you expect me to believe the word of a mercenary? I didn't expect you to believe me, so I brought this. Here's your proof. A sample of the special wood you want so badly. These bows you're making had better be worthy of Apollo for all the trouble I've gone to. By the gods! You sure you work with Marcos? He's never once delivered on a promise. Incredible. I might work with him, but we're nothing alike. I'm true to my word. Then take your pay. Give none to Marcos. Alexios, have you come back to talk about the spear? I have. Oh, good. Tell me, did you find it? Consider it a donation to the temple. What? No reward? Oh, Alexios, I'm in your debt. If ever there's a way my temple can help you, or anyone, send them here. I will remember. I should have known it was you who'd ask for the furs, Ilos. And I should have known it was you to get them for me. Alexios is always on the job. Don't tell Marcos. He'll get jealous. I post it publicly to give the others a chance. But you're always so keen. What are the pelts for this time? The Athenians want armor for the war. Good protection for them. Good drachmi for me. Here they are. All accounted for. In record time, too. Take your pay. It's well earned. Stay out of trouble, Ilos. You should take your own advice. Mistios, fresh vegetables for your journey. The juiciest and kefalonia. I'm not really in the market for vegetables. No one is. Our stock is practically decomposing. We're trying to make enough rachmi to get out of kefalonia. It's about time we moved on. I know what you mean. Wait. Creosa. You think he could help us? I think he could. You'll have to tell me what it is first. Are you scared of sharks, Mistios? Have you seen their teeth? <laughs> Believe us, we have. And we won't go near them again. A shark is guarding our one guaranteed way out of Kefalonia. A shark? He guards a precious necklace. We get it, sell it, and leave Kefalonia. The old bandit who found it first buried the necklace on the shore, near a temple. And the fool didn't think. Water rises. Now the necklace may as well belong to the shark. Vegetable drachme is all right. But necklace drachme is best. I know what it's like to want to leave Kefalonia. Who wouldn't? We have nothing here. As many vegetables as we please. But no hope. It's buried in a chest. If you get it for us, we'll take what we need to get out, and you can keep the rest. All right. I'll kill your shark. You'll skewer him. You'll find him deep in the ruins of Granite down south. Buried treasure usually has a story. 
the necklace was said to belong to Procris. You know, the wife of Cephalus. On the eve of their wedding, he gave it to her as a promise of fidelity. Well, we know how that turned out. <laughs> Typical. At least he returned to Procris in time for her death. Where on the island are these ruins? You know the sunken islet of Zeus? Find that, and you'll find the ruins. To the shark's temple I go. I'll never look at another vessel again after this. You don't look so good. I angered them, I think. The gods. It's possible. I hear they can be vengeful. I used to worship Hermes at the Drogorati cave. There are gods there too, you know. In the cave? They grant wishes if you bring them tribute. So everyone makes an offering and asks for something in return. Ah, uh, no wishes of mine granted though. I'm running out of money and tribute. I'm poor myself, you know. I did something wrong. You know Hermes. He can be a trickster. Oh, but there are many gods in this cave. All asking for different things. Go hear him yourself. You'll get my last tribute if you do. I need to know if they're real. All right, don't worry. I'll go. Oh, thank you. Remember, be careful where you step, Mistyos. You'll be walking on holy ground. We'll see about that. All I can offer you is devotion, but I need your help. I'm poor. I have four hungry children and nothing else. I weave baskets for the market, but my cart is ruined. How can I repair it? Or sell my wares without it? Without you? I'm listening, child of Hermes. Oh, mighty God, I beg you, help me. Your prayer is... Heard! You will find riches at your door sooner than you expect. I knew you'd listen. My every sunrise and sunset is yours. Everything beneath my humble roof in Sami is devoted to you. Yes! Now, go home and wait for fate to intervene. I will, great God, I will. No gods in the caves, only bandits stealing people's hopes and drachmi. <gasps> I knew it! Thieves! At least you know you won't face Zeus's wrath. Maybe he'll take pity on you. I hope Zeus brings his wrath on those bandits. Don't worry, I brought mine. That should be good enough. You found it! That's the necklace! That shark put up a good fight. He must have liked it. We can finally leave. No more vegetables. <sighs> we'll have a new life. One far from our past. I know what that's like. Good luck. 